Hey, what's going on guys, Zerkston here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt to run at a playable resolution and frame rate on the NVIDIA 840M paired with the Intel i5-4210U CPU. So, I watched a couple videos before I bought The Witcher 3 to see how it would run on my laptop, and most of them said that I wouldn't be able to run it at a very good frame rate. Most of them said I'd run it at around 20 to 25 FPS. And I decided to mess around with all the settings and to see um, how far I can push it, uh, The Witcher 3, to run at a decent FPS. So there are two steps in uh, order to gaining uh, FPS in The Witcher 3. So the first step is to go ahead and download um, The Witcher 3 Hunter's Config, which the link will be in the description. So what you want to do is you want to click Download and you want to download it manually and you uh, download the one with the more with the bigger file size and with the more downloads so you actually don't want to do that you want to click download manually which is the little red thing over there and you do need to register a free account on Nexus Mods but all you have to do is put in an email and a password and just verify your email and uh, that's all you have to do so once you have it downloaded you're gonna get a .rar file with these three files in it and all you want to do is you want to drag them into your Witcher 3 uh, install folder. Now, the way you find the Witcher 3 install folder is you go to Steam. Uh, you want to click on Properties, Local Files, and Browse Local Files. So all you do is you just paste the uh, files into here. And as you can see, I already have the files pasted. Now, I do recommend you make a backup of the... Um, uh, contents in this uh, file because if you mess with it too much you can't actually break your game so I do recommend that you uh, back your files up so what you want to do is you want to open up uh, this program right here run and you are now into Winch Witcher 3 Hunters config so this basically uh, allows you to push the Witcher 3 lower or higher than its default uh, settings in game allows you to do and it makes it much easier to do than by modifying the dot i and i files uh, just because they are like complex and that they are not as simple as other stuff so what you want to do is you want to go to into rendering and make sure everything over here is turned off now you can just copy my settings here because I played around with it for a couple days now and I've determined that these are the best settings for me to use on The Witcher 3. So go ahead and uh, copy these settings. And uh, once you have it copied, you want to click Save. So the next step is to overclock your GPU. Now I know that laptops GPUs aren't really meant to be overclocked, but the 840M can be overclocked by 135 MHz. And the memory, you can fiddle around with it and see how much you can overclock it by. So in order to overclock it, what you want to do is you want to open MSI Afterburner. Uh, just double click it. The link will be in the description below. So by default, the core clock will be set at uh, zero. And all you want to do is you want to drag it all the way up to 135. And the memory clock, for me personally, I keep it at 191 uh, just because... For me, I found it to be the most stable, so you guys can mess around with it and uh, see which is stable for you. So you click Apply, and uh, then Minimize it, and open up GPU-Z, which will also be in the description. And you just want to make sure that your GPU clock is, in fact, greater than your default clock. And as you can see, that the boost clock of the overclocked GPU is higher is much higher than the boost clock of the unoverclocked GPU. So this will help performance a lot in The Witcher 3. So at this point I'm gonna go into some game benchmarks and I'm gonna show you uh, the FPS that you get while the Royal Griffin boss fight is going on and while just running around uh, towns and uh, the wilderness. So uh, see you there. So the first benchmark is just me running around in the wilderness of The Witcher 3. Now, please note that the FPS on screen, like that you're seeing, isn't actually the real FPS. Uh, because I'm using Bandicam to record, it does tax the uh, GPU a bit. 
So FPS is going to be around 3 to 5, some cases even up to like 9 or 10 uh, FPS lower. So the real FPS is going to be in the top left corner, which I recorded on my phone, so it might not be the best quality. But, uh, so yeah, this is the first benchmark of me running around in the wilderness. Enjoy. Go, go. Take it easy. Not bad. Not bad. Though, you could stand to improve some things. So, uh, as Vesemir said, uh, yeah, I could improve some things. So, uh, please comment whatever suggestions you have to make. And, uh, see you guys in the next video, which I think will be a Fallout 4 video, uh, optimizing it for the 840M. Alright, peace.